Welcome back. Well, guess what? This week's video is still uh, featuring the Kickdown Festival 2022 run from Joe's Farm in Whangabata. In last week's video I showed a portion of the Coromandel Loop ride heading into Coromandel itself and parking in the uh, big football field behind the shopping centre. Well, this is just this week's video is taking us back about two hours earlier than that. I'll link to the video uh, somewhere through the video here. Uh, but it's about two hours before that particular ride where this is actually in Joe's farm in Whangamata and one of the organisers has just walked through the, uh, the bike area here in front of the main stage where bands are going to play later on in the evening. Uh, to let us know, look, start your engines, time to head out uh, for those of you that are on the, uh, the loop ride today. So it's a general mobilisation happening in the field here. On the other side of the line of tents and trees there, there's several hundred more bikes where we're going to be forming up into lines to go. Um, and that's going to be the point of this week's video. It's just showing, because I was curious myself, I had no clue how 600 or more motorbikes could... Uh, set, well, I knew it could happen, obviously, but, you know, not quite sure how it might happen how 600 or more motorbikes might just form up ready to go out on an organised ride on public roads. Well, this is how. So just keep watching. That's going to be the whole point of this video. It's going to take us through heading up to the uh, pre-departure lounge, if you like, where what we found was that they've set up the field um, through the fence line here into various lanes, which uh, you choose your own lane all the bikes have already been tagged when you register. You've got a uh, registration tag, electronic uh, as such, that's put onto your headlight. And they'll read that as you go through um, through the gate. I'll show you where that happens going, coming further forward. But We're working our way now through uh, the field, more parked bikes getting ready to move. And up ahead and to the right, there is the laned area and it says choose your own lane lane one two three four I don't think there was five um, but there's the intention is to cram about a hundred hundred and fifty bikes into each of these lanes and then each particular set uh, would move off by itself and then five ten minutes between the groups so as it turns out there's traffic control at all of the intersections along the main road and this would give the you know a little bit of a breather, a bit of a break for regular traffic to go through as they were holding traffic at various one-lane bridges and controlled intersections and the like. Now you might have noticed we chose lane three. Lanes one and two have already um, departed, so I've been sitting there for a little while already. And our lane has just now been given the nod to move up to the, uh, the electronic gate that uh, take a note of your bike leaving through the uh, departure gate. When we return back after completing the loop, we'll be tagged again so we'll get a time for how long we took uh, to ride that loop. Now it's not a race. We're leaving here at this point it's about 9.30 in the morning and I think the idea is to come back whenever you want once you've completed the loop um, but no later than 5pm um, to get your bike tagged and go into a draw for some kind of uh, random cash prize uh, that'll be drawn later this evening. You can see they're waving through like one bike at a time, there's a tagging uh, machine right there, there by the marshal and once that's done we're good to go so we head up ahead to the uh, next area where we wait again for a flag marshal to give us the OK. I think that is waiting for all of the people that come through the tag machine because being able to only put through one bike at a time there takes a little moment for everyone to get through. And once that's done, as a group, we all head off, led out by one or two um, individuals in high-vis vests. But Apart from that, you're pretty much on your own from this point. Uh, like I said, I rode down with two buddies uh, from Auckland Hog, Matt and TJ, and so we pretty much rode together. Um, 
A lot of people were stopping at places along the way, Coro Glen, for example, or Fitianga. We rode all the way through to uh, Coromandel to take our break, uh, getting there about uh, 11.30 or so in the morning. Anyway, we it's still quite early here, but it's warmed up a little bit. It was brutally cold, surprised us a lot um, when we were coming down at six or seven o'clock in the six o'clock in the morning. Uh, but it's lovely and warm now, and we just got the go ahead from the marshals. We're heading through onto the main road, so. This is probably as good a moment as any to uh, close out the video because this picks up um, in a couple of hours time with the video that I've already linked to earlier where we're descending through into Coromandel Town. I might yet put up one further video, perhaps coming along the coast road, yet to uh, decide about that. But anyway, we're underway here uh, and a good day's riding is, uh, is ahead of us. So for now I'll just let this one play out. Ride safe everybody, take care out there, see you next week.